What is chametz? After all, that's what we're looking for. That's what the Torah says we have to get rid of for Pesach. Now, we can't wait until Pesach to do it. We need to do it beforehand. We need to prepare for it. So, the big question is, what is chametz? Chametz does, to some, seem as a very scary word, a very daunting word, which it is on Passover and maybe pre-cleaning to Passover. But we need to first understand, we need to define what chametz is. On this topic, the Arizal promises that anybody who is sure to observe the Passover properly is going to be guaranteed another year of life. And specifically when it comes to making sure not to eat any chametz on Passover. It is something which guarantees life, longevity, and good health. So chametz is the following. There are five main grains that our Torah speaks to us about that are the five grains which sustain a person. These five grains, when ground up and put into flour, this flour mixed with water turns into dough and that is what gives us bread. Chametz is any of these five grains in any of their forms once they have already started to swell, coagulate, or ferment. So what are the five grains? The first is obviously wheat, then we have barley, we have rye, we have spelt, and we have oats. That's why when you go to a store, there's normally the options of, well, you have wheat bread, which is the regular bread, there's rye bread, there's spelt bread, oat bread, barley bread. Some of them are less common than others. Some people make them at home. There's different health benefits to different types of grains making out of bread, but that is what chametz is. Chametz is when there is any type of mixture of any of these grains in the food that we are talking about, that is chametz. Crumbs, any leftovers of bread or any type of, of mizonot items such as cookies and crackers and all that, all of that is chametz. Chametz is, again, one of these five grains, again, that is wheat, oats, spelt, barley, or rye, that water got in contact with the grain itself or with the flour of the grain and it started to rise whether it be coagulate swell ferment that is called chametz when it rises now it's important to know that the same ingredients which makes a chametz bread for all intents and purposes is exactly the same ingredients that makes matzah Watch our next video, because that'll explain what matzah is.